Isn't it amazing how a touch of humor can just bring down the walls that we build around ourselves and it just kind of levels the playing field and it allows us to be able to build good relationships, to be able to make friends. When we served in our mission to Chile, I served in Chile as a young man. By the way, that's where David served too. They always send the good-looking ones to Chile. All right, um, <laughs> so... Uh, I hope you heard that, David. Um, so uh, we were, I served in Chile as a, as a young man, and then I went back as a mission president. And we were there at the same time that Elder Holland of the Quorum of the Twelve had been directing the work in that country. So he was there for two years, and we overlapped with him. So we had the chance to be able to serve under Elder Holland. And I was always so grateful for how tender and sweet he was to my two little kids. I had four kids, but the two older ones were already out of the house. And my two younger ones were just in sixth grade and seventh grade. I mean, those are hard years anyway. But to suddenly have to transplant yourself down to another country and deal with a new culture and deal with a, a new language, it was kind of hard on them. And Elder Holland was always really sweet, and he paid a lot of special attention to my two kids. Well, one day, my daughter comes home from her junior high, and she says, Dad, Elder Holland's in my math book. And I said, what? She says, Elder Holland is in my math book. I said, honey, what are you talking about? Well, she pulls over her math book, and sure enough, here's the story problem. Yesterday, it took Jeff Holland one hour to get to work. <laughs> says, this morning, Jeff drove to the train station in 20 minutes, waited for the train for seven minutes, rode the train for 12 minutes, and walked for 15 minutes. How long did it take Jeff Holland to get to work this morning? Well, I thought it was so funny that I just grabbed a little sticky note and I wrote, Dear Elder Holland, would you please help Whitney with her homework? <laughs> and I sent it off to him. I thought he'd get a little chuckle over it. Well, not only did he get a chuckle, but he wrote her a letter back handwritten letter from Elder Holland. It says, Dear Whitney, I was pleased you discovered my day job. <laughs> I regularly submit math problems for textbooks. <laughs> and sometimes I just don't know whose name to use. I think I will use yours next. If Whitney Wilcox has five boyfriends in Provo, and gains one a day for 14 days in Chile, how many of them will be baptized, go on missions, and want to marry her in the temple? <laughs> he says, thanks for being here. I'm immensely proud of you. Isn't that sweet? Yes, humor definitely, yes. And that's what Elder Holland does. He wins friends for the church everywhere he goes because he's so willing to smile and so willing to laugh and so willing to show us pictures of dinosaurs in general conference. <laughs> Tomorrow! <laughs> yes, we love that. And I think we can all try to build relationships by keeping a positive attitude and a good sense of humor. Now, another thing that a sense of humor does is that it gives us a chance to cope. <laughs>